Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier here and we're back with the Rust Community Showcase and today we are looking at the large chest skins. I am so excited for these skins because number one, I am one of those OCD people that have to organize my loot rooms like, well always OCD like I guess. I have signs everywhere labeling each individual chest. If I have a server where I have the sign artist, every single sign has the, the sign for the item that's in the chest. It's pretty bad. What some of these Rust skin creators, workshop creators have done is they've made skins to where you no longer have to do that. And that is absolutely amazing. And if Face Punch, if you are watching this right now, we need every single one of these chest skins in the game. Now, that being said, some of them are more just for, for fun looks. Not so much about utility, but there are a lot of chest skins out there. I'm only covering the ones that I absolutely liked and not every single skin from that creator is going to be in here so you guys have to look on their their collections or their whatever to see all the ones they have available so number one we have chest skins from the creator milho frito and first of all we have an ammo weapon and a stone chest and all of these look great if you could tell from the stone chest there's actually wording on the side that lets you know hey there's stone in here um speaking with him he said there isn't a whole lot of room to add the text which is probably why it's behind the handle. But he also went and color-coded them, and I think that's going to make it a lot easier. The next three we have also come from Miho Frito, and it is First Aid, Red and Green, and Clothes. He has probably over a dozen chests in this chest collection, so if you want to see the rest of them and see how they're color-coded and whatnot, just go ahead and go to his Rust Workshop, whatever, and then you'll be able to see them all there. Next up, we have a bunch of chests from the creator Jordan. Now his are a little bit more simple, they're just normal looking chests with almost white spray painted stencil look on the front of them, what they are. I don't know if they have the words on the sides or not, I can't tell from the pictures, but I think that if you're looking for a more simplistic look, these chests would be really good for you too. So, great job Jordan. Next up, we have everybody's favorite creator, Abraka Daniel. Now, this is more in lines with the really neat looking chests that don't necessarily serve a uh, useful purpose but they just look awesome and they're the kind of chest that you want to have in your base first up we have the UMC chest here on the left that one weirdly enough is labeled army chest on the workshop but it has a UMC USMC Marine Corps stenciling on the top I, for someone like myself that used to be in the military and is retired now that, that's, that's kind of like that doesn't match up but for the most of you they probably won't realize the difference and, and you really won't catch it then we have the first aid chest, which really looks distressed. I think it's a really good job. It kind of reminds me of the distressed looking first aid boxes in Fallout. And then at the bottom right there, we have a leather chest with a whole bunch of different um, postage stamps, postage location things that you see on like luggage. I think it's a really neat touch and I think the skin is really high def. I really like it. Great job, Abraka Daniel. Next up, we have a danger high explosives chest from Curdy. Now, I really like this chest, not only one because of the coloring, but there's a large black skull on the top of it and it has danger on the sides. I think this is one of those chests that a lot of people are going to like, not only because of the coloring, but just the way that it looks overall. So I had to include it in the video. Great job, Curdy. Next up, we have the creator, Cameling, and she has two chests. She has a couple others, I believe, but I only included these two because these are the ones that I really liked. Her gun chest, which is a simple black and red, it has the handle as being black, it has a kind of a, a silhouetted AK on the top. I really, really like that. And I figured that if you didn't want a normal weapons chest like the one that uh, Milo Frito did, having a chest like this that specifically says guns would probably be very useful for your base. She also has another one that's kind of a psychedelic colorful one. She has a lot of really colorful skins on her workshop. So if you're into that really bright and vibrant colorful stuff, go ahead and check her out. Two more, we have the chest from Kane, which is looks to be a tool chest. Very distressed looking. I love the dark colors. I love how it's got that the yellow triangle with the tools on the top that's very distressed looking. I think this is another one of those ones where it doesn't, you know, necessarily say this is where the clothes are, this is where the explosives are, this is where the charcoal is. But you can kind of tell, okay, maybe we should put tools in this chest because it's a tool chest. Besides for that, just the look of it is really, really neat. I really enjoy it, and I think that this would be a great addition to the game. Last but not least, we have the Wired Chest. And 
I think it looks really cool. It's the wiring is a little flat. I wish it was a little more 3D. This one comes from Garbage. And uh, I really like the coloring of it. It is a distressed skull and crossbones on the top there. I really liked it. And I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw it in the video. So that's pretty much it for the skin chests. Chest skins. There we go. The chest skins for today. Uh, there are a lot more uh, skins on the wor workshop. And if you guys enjoyed these, feel free to check them out. Make sure that if you like it, to give it an upvote, a favorite, so these guys know, hey, I really liked your skin. Please do more like this or whatnot. So anyway, starting uh, to ramble a little bit here. Sergeant Soldier doing the Rust Community Showcase, and we're looking at the chest skins. We'll see you in the next showcase video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching the Rust Community Showcase. If you'd like to see more great skins by your fellow Rust players and content creators, click either of the annotations you see in front of you. If you have your own created content that you'd like to feature in a video, please leave a link of the item or items in the comment section of the video.